welcome back to my channel where today I thought it'd be fun to show you how I heal my tattoos. So before I start I want to say that I'm not a tattoo artist, so if your tattoo artist says differently always listen to your artist because they obviously know best. I just wanted to go through like the bog standard very simple method that I use for all of my tattoos and I've used it for every single one of my tattoos. Even my first one which is this carousel horse here so I've always used this method. I've been using it for about three years and it works very well so I thought I'd show you what I do. So the first thing to do is the day on the tattoo they usually wrap you up with cling film before you go home. What I do is when when I get home, I take off that cling film, I clean it with just water, I don't use any soap, I just use water. I usually use the shower head, just put it on a very low setting and I put it quite cold because if you've been tattooed before, you know it gets very very hot in that area just because of the irritation and all the blood rushing to it. Just want cold-ish water and then I usually use my hand, make sure you clean your hands first obviously, and I wipe down the area of the tattoo. I then pat it dry with a towel, never ever rub it. Rubbing it is going to cause more irritation and also later on there's a possibility it's going to pull out the ink in your tattoo so never ever rub always pat it dry and then for the first two days i use wound dressings which are just absorbent pads you can get from boots or any pharmacy and what these do is they just suck up all of the moisture and the gunk that comes out of your tattoo on the first couple days it's a little bit gross but it's very normal and it just means it doesn't go everywhere where i'm sleeping or walking around especially for this one because it was on my ankle and these have a light adhesion to them so they can just press onto them but they're not going to rip anything off when you take them off later. After I stick that to it, I usually just wrap it in cling film again. And then I tape above and below the tattoo just to hold it into place. Obviously, this is a very small tattoo. It's about palm size. So you can use more of the pads for bigger tattoos. Like if I was hitting this one, I would just do a line down my arm, probably three or four just to cover the majority of the area and I like to keep them where the most work has gone into them so for Howard I say that that was this area here just because there's lots of different colours so obviously she was doing a bit and then coming back to it later so it's the most irritated area that tends to be the area that has the most leakage coming out of it again probably just because it's the most irritated area of your skin so watch out for those areas just a little bit more so the next day I just cut off my cling film again I use a pair of scissors I wash the scissors before I use them and you just have to not scrape them down your tattoo obviously because you don't want to damage it in any way then to get off the wound dressing definitely wash it with water first and then peel it off putting water underneath it this is how you should get off any like second skin that you put over tattoos always wet them don't just rip them off you can rip out the ink you could just cause yourself more pain and there's just no point to it just wash them off and they come off nice and easy like in the video I'm showing it kind of just peels away nice and slowly once you put the water behind it so always use water to get rid of them and then I do the same as I did before just pat it dry and then I re rest it for another day. So on day three, day three is the first day where I slept without any covering. So for days where I don't use covering, I wash it. Again, I don't use any soap, but you can use unscented soap. I find that children's soap is what a lot of people seem to use because it's very, very gentle on the skin. So any really gentle soap with no fragrance, fragrance is going to irritate your skin more as it does on all parts of your body. Just like when you use creams on your face, you don't want to have fragrance just because it's an irritant. Tattoos are the exact same. But yeah, I wash it down, I pat it dry, and then I personally use Dream Cream from Lush. It is the best cream that I've found, but my older sister uses Karma Cream, which is also from Lush. You can use creams like Tattoo Goo or Hustle Butter. Lots of people use Hustle Butter. I've been suggested to use Hustle Butter by one of my tattoo artists, but I use Dream Cream just because that's all what I already had. They come in very big pots, they're very useful if you want to get multiple tattoos. But I just rub it into the tattoo. You don't want loads and loads, you don't want it to look thick on the surface in any way. You want to rub it in, but make sure there's enough there just to keep the area nice and moisturised. And then for the rest of the tattoo healing, I wash it, I pat it dry, and then I only use cream if it's really, really dry that day, or if it's really itchy. If it's itching, you can slap it, that's the best way of getting rid of the itches. Or what I find is warm water and then just rubbing in some cream or also definitely calms it down. Never ever scratch it because you will pull off some of the ink. You'll see in my final tattoo I did actually pull off a bit of the ink right at the bottom because it got stuck on my sock and I did not realise and I pulled it off which is annoying but that's my fault that's nothing to do with the tattoo artist. It's just because it was on my ankle and that area moves a bit more so it got a little bit more irritated over time. Got a little bit of leakage stuck to my sock and that's why I ripped a little bit of the colour out. It's not overly noticeable 
so I don't think I'll even need to get a touch up on it. But if I did need a touch up, tattoo artists tend to do them for free for a certain amount of time, like four or five months after, if you do need major touch ups. I've never been for one, I don't mind when they've got a little bit of fallout and that sort of thing. I think they just look more worn in and I quite like the look of it, quite honestly. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. It's a nice little short one just to show you how to heal a tattoo if you're new to tattoo healing or just want to see a different method of how to heal tattoos. So I really hope this video was helpful. Again, do listen to your tattoo artist. I learned this information from my first tattoo artist, which was very helpful information. So always, always listen to them. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. Comment what else you'd like me to do. I usually do makeup and art videos. So if you have any suggestions for that sort of thing, please comment it down below and subscribe as I do post videos three times a week and I'd love to see you again. But for now, bye.